Love is not the entryway into which we crowd and seeing there is no other door but only wall, stay. The other door was plastered over years ago because we thought we don't need a door, we need a wall and that the entryway would somehow accommodate our needs. But somehow it has not been so. Our eyes believe in wall and we crowd together in the entryway and scream about our need for space. But if we didn't, say, feel the need to be polite about the wall, we might remember there was a door before. There was a murder recently in the entryway caused by the conditions. So you see, we have a lot to occupy us and can't be bothered thinking about walls. Controversial schools have arisen in the entryway. One says, order, for example, is the nature of the universe. Another says, chaos. One says, there's enough for everybody. Another says, first come, first serve. One says, goodness, is a word. And others say, goodness, is the word that goodness says it is. And other schools spin off from that. Walls, say some, are the ultimate reality. Without a wall, we wouldn't be here. Others say space is the need, and man builds walls to give space definition. Man builds walls. This wall was here before us. Says a new school, feeding the controversy. So the noise level increases till you could hear the shouting from afar. If there was a far. Some shout and start projecting fars from news. Love is not the entryway. We approve this by crowding together in it. The wall is beginning to crack. A hideous metal curvature of a certain size appears at a certain place in the wall, and people begin to unite around the need to plaster it over. Military experts who deal in metal have analyzed it as brass. A foreign brass. They say, increasing the terror. So new forms of paranoia have recently developed, and musicians are busy recording the sounds. Guide us gently through our idiocy. Is a new prayer the religious concession in its corner has published. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. Everyone agrees, thinking that's the human correspondence to the wall. They scream in pain. Everything perfect! There's a through! Someone shouts, but there's too much noise. And those who do hear him decide he's crazy. It's small! He says. And resembles a keyhole. They turn away. The information doesn't fit. It is considered unfitting to produce unfitting information since paranoia has come to stay and those of the radical right who hear him order more plaster to plaster him into the wall as a lesson, they say, to those to come that they may not stray. Every day, new sources of information multiply on the various hues of opinion about our state. No one can reply since it's considered too late for the individual. Only mass action, they say, matters at this date. I have a key, says the madman. Where's the plaster? It's an emergency. And if it's not an emergency, we'll make one. For our state. The manufacture of emergencies becomes a worldwide industry. The paranoia pays off is the title of the latest musical enjoyed by the up-to-date. Where do we go from here? Is a book everyone's reading, forgetting they have no more space. The madman is fitting his key into the ghastly hole since the plaster has not arrived. And the right is doing a dance, a war dance, they say, to stop the chaos. Let's not wait, let's do it now! They cry, but it's part of the dance. The music they allow to put them in a frenzy since the plaster hasn't arrived and the madman is turning his key in what he calls a keyhole. If this is a keyhole, he says, in what is called foreign brass, must be a knob. But the intellectuals assemble to prove there can be no knob or keyhole. Since wall precedes everything. Push, says the madman. I've turned it. But the paranoia has reached such a pitch about the now recognized possible loss of the wall that a new religious fad claims God is a plasterer who keeps man safe from the fall. 
It's cracking, says the madman. The whole thing is going to tumble. And the plaster finally arrives. So while he is fiddling with what he calls a knob, some are beginning to think of it as a dial, an army of heroic plasterers, religiously oriented, marches toward the crumbling wall. Let's do it! Says the right. What? what? Say the intellectuals. Anything! Says the right. What's, What's anything? anything? Say the intellectuals. Don't you see? Says the right. The wall is falling. How, How can, can the, the wall, wall fall? fall? Say the intellectuals. Since, Since it precedes, precedes everything. everything. And at that point, the madman who is getting plastered turns the knob. He's turned the dial. Some say. Push! Says the madman, now thoroughly plastered and white as they come. Push! And one little boy gives the wall a push. The whole thing crumbles, the door opens, and chaos, as one school said, comes again. It, it precedes the wall. Say the intellectuals. Chaos is the original material out of which we built the wall. It's a door, says the little boy. A, a door? door? Say the intellectuals. They can't pronounce it since it precedes what they know precedes what they know. Call, Call in the, the military. military, they say. And suddenly, there is a flurry of excitement over a shotgun marriage between thought and aggression. Aggression? No. We're here to protect what was a wall from what precedes it. Chaos, says the left. It's a door, says the boy. But of course, no one hears him in the chaos. Listen to the boy, says the madman, from within his plaster, looking like a statue. What is this? Says the right. What? Say the intellectuals. What, what? Says the right. But the intellectuals remember, they know what's what. What's what? They say authoritatively. A door. Says the boy. We, we weren't, weren't asking. asking. Say the intellectuals. We, we were stating. stating. And states begin to form to prove a door cannot exist where there was a wall preceded by anything. Anything! Says the right. Do anything! We've, We've heard, heard that before. before. Say the intellectuals. We, we can't, can't do anything. anything. We're, we're intellectuals. intellectuals. We're, we're here, here to, to state. state. What? Says the right. What? 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 Say the intellectuals. It's a door! Says the boy. And the military, aware of their opportunity, moves in. It's the entryway. Says the boy, and the military laugh. Ha! <laughs> to what? They say. To protection. Says the boy. From protection. 